Making their home in the wild plains of Botswana, Beverly Jo Bear and her husband Derek have the time they need to create award-winning natural history films. And for Beverly, the opportunities for still photography are almost unlimited. I have to totally engulf myself in the subject. And living out in the bush, I obviously have the advantage of a lot of time. Um, I can sit and wait for many hours. And if nothing happens, I don't have the nagging urge of uh, being totally frustrated that I haven't got a shot. And if only I could capture everything that I see, I think I'd have the most unusual African wildlife photography in the world. But it's normally, you know, you get one great shot in a couple of weeks, and that's really rewarding. Beverly's rewards, those rare great shots, depend upon the intimate knowledge she's gained during her many years of living in the bush. The most important thing is to become a part of the wilderness. Um, daily, we're out there, we're experiencing and having great thrills and interacting with the animals. We become an animal. I become animalistic. I stalk an animal to be able to get that shot. The one thing I do is I stalk an animal with a camera. So I don't have any uh, means of um, aggression at all. And I actually think that animals do pick that up a lot of the time. Photographing a lion hunt at night is one of Beverly Jo Bear's greatest challenges. You have to habituate the animals so that your presence is not a bother to them at all. And then they will carry on doing whatever they normally would be doing. And especially at night time when you're working with them, obviously the lights could be a bother. But we slowly habituated the lions to the lights and they got so used to it that, uh, it's, that they wouldn't even turn their heads. Even if the lions are willing to accept the Joe Bear's presence, capturing a kill on film is by no means certain. It requires patience, persistence, and a good deal of luck. Take, for instance, the lion catching the baby elephant. I'd seen that three times in 15 years in Botswana, and never was I you know, able to capture it before. I put my finger on the shutter, and I knew instantly that I got a great shot because I knew it had never been seen before. It was totally unusual, and I just felt that everything had worked out well.